Good morning and welcome to the Introduction to Programming Unit 5. Today um, we are going to start with the first program you will write using um, uh, small basic. What I want to start with is the idea of something called internal documentation. And what this is, is it provides anybody who's looking at the program uh, with who wrote it, when it was written, why it was written, and so on. And here's how we create internal documentation. We start by using an apostrophe and our name. So I am going to type in my name. Second, I am going to add the course code for which I am writing this program. Next, I am going to write the date that I am writing the program. So today is May 23rd, 2019. Next, I am going to um, give the name of the program. So this is 001A and it's called Hello World. And finally, I'm going to give a brief explanation of what the program is meant to do. So in this case, it is to demonstrate the two different types of text output. Now I'm going to leave a couple of spaces. In order to get Small Basic to start, there is a command that you need, and that is text window it tells the DOS shell to open. Next, I'm going to type in the term write, and it writes the text or number to the text window. Next, I am going to put in an open bracket. And please remember, anything that you do in Small Basic or pretty much any programming language has to come in pairs. So if I'm opening a bracket, I must also close the bracket. And I am going to add text, so I am going to start with quotes, and I am going to type in hello world, close my quotes, close my brackets. On my next line, I am going to go text window, and I am going to go right line. Um, that you will notice what happens once I run the program. So I'm going to open a bracket and I am going to type in, close my quotes, close my bracket. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add another line. Now I'm gonna run the program. There you go. And you'll notice that after welcome to small basic, the cursor has moved down a line. So what that tells us is that text window write will write whatever we tell it to, but it won't create a new line. If we use text window write line, it will write what we tell it to and then create a new line. Hope this helps you with your programming. 